the Pixel Tricks car uh, spares and repairs on eBay. My children quite like it and it does, it does work but it's a bit unreliable so this little girl comes and sits down you press buttons and it does stuff. I've had like a little go at fixing it already with some success um, so it is going. The problem was the battery contacts but I'm actually going to just replace the battery contacts once it's going, it, you have to wait like minutes for it to turn off. It drives my wife insane. But, yeah, those are the toys dads like to buy their kids, isn't it? So let's pop out these batteries. And you can see that, well, you can see hopefully, I don't know how well it's focusing. This battery contact here is the problematic one. It's all grimy, and I have scraped a lot of the grime off. I did wash it in vinegar, um, I think. You know, there's st still evidence of corrosion on it and stuff. And the other was uh, a better. The others are probably good enough for jazz, but uh, that one not so much. So I bought a bag of AAA battery contacts on the internet. There's a lot of very tiny components on the board. I've been practicing just desoldering uh, with a heat gun, a little chip I got out of a, an Arduino that I'd, I'd broken. Right, so these are just AAA battery contacts. I don't know if they're going to fit because they're not like shaped. Um, I don't know if this has got a little arch in it. You get all kinds of different sizes of these things. I, I couldn't find a decent selection box. It didn't look for very long, to be honest. Right, I need a pokey and a scrapey. See if I can lift that out. I appreciate this might not be right under the camera, but I've got to hold it close to my body to get any purchase. As soon as I can get the pliers on it, it'll come out. I need some. In. It's a little too. Th oh no, there we go. Yeah, that's really quite corroded. Right, so it's that contact there, and you know I could put a, like a blob of solder over it, but I'm just going to see if replacing it with a new one does the gig. Looks like it might go in. Oh. Vincent, are we happy? I don't really feel the need to replace the rest of those. There she is. So I'm expecting this works a lot more reliably now. <coughs> So this was kind of a two-stage fix, cleaned it up, um, so you can press a button and she'll wind down the window. Anyway, she's going to chirp away in the background. But yeah, it was a two-stage fix. I took this out originally and did get the worst of the corrosion off it. Um, but sometimes it's just better to replace a component. I mean, in a pinch I could use this. I think I'd maybe... Wash it in vinegar. I think that's what I did. I washed it in vinegar, but it didn't get all the corrosion off, and I scrubbed it with a toothbrush. But a new one is going to make a better contact, I think, in this instance. So, yeah, job done.